Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today's video is going to be another how to edit like. This one was a request that someone sent in to me quite a while ago. Um, I'm sorry it's taken me this long to get around to making this particular video but um, it's kind of an interesting um, Instagram page. Uh, so if you guys do know this account um, you'll notice that all of his photos are very blue. Um, it's got a fade in his photos. Now I think I've done a little bit of research and uh, looked into his photos but I think all these photos he's taken, he's taken them on his mobile phone or his phone camera um, which is quite interesting that he's been able, to, been able to achieve this look. Um, really unique look, I haven't seen it pretty much anywhere else. Um, really quite cool, he's found this kind of cool architecture, urban landscapes and stuff. So we're going to have a go at trying to edit one or maybe two photos in this style, but we're going to do it on Lightroom. Um, obviously I might do a video at some point on how to edit it um, on a mobile phone, but you can see for this one for example, it's not the highest quality, so I think it's a mobile phone, and then he's put um, this Huawei thing on it. So I think, I can't speak the language, but I presume that he's taking this on uh, on a mobile phone, so but I'm not sure. I might, I might be wrong. Okay, so this is the photo we're going to be editing today. Um, slightly strange one, pretty cool photo. Um, but before I start, I would like to point out that if you do have any raw files or anything that you want us to edit, like um, in someone's particular style, if you've got an Instagram account you want us to edit, like, and you've got a photo that you wanted to look like that, then um, send us the email saying. Uh, you want this to be edited um, and send us the raw file because I am running out of raw files and so if anyone's got a raw file please uh, feel free to send them in to us and we will feature them in some of our videos and then you can go ahead and post it to your Instagram account I'll send you the file back um, but anyway so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with this photo here um, not the conventional photo that he would post to his account but the reason why I've chosen it is because it's kind of this cool um, building kind of urban kind of environment with blues and stuff so I think if he did post it it would work with his theme um, but again you can probably use pretty much anything you've taken um, especially these building ones really quite cool looking photos with the um, the harsh shadows and the clarity and stuff okay so the first thing I would like to point out is how um, he gets this look to his photos so the first thing is what he's done is he's really brought down his temperature um, so he's brought his temperature all the way down so he's got um, a bluer kind of tint to all those photos. That's the first thing he's probably gone ahead and done. Um, the next thing is you'll probably notice he's got um, quite a bit of clarity and quite a bit of sharpness um, in his images. A um, little bit of grain but I'm not sure whether it's grains just because the quality of his images isn't that great. But um, if we look at this one for example, a um, lot of clarity, a lot of contrast, a lot, lot of sharpness going on, pretty bright highlights, dark shadows. He puts a little bit of fade in, in the shadows. You can see that a little bit um, and everything seems to be pretty desaturated. So um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and try and replicate that look um, in our photos. Okay, so this is our photo here. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to increase the exposure because all of this photo seems to be pretty bright and high contrast. So first thing we're going to do is just bring up that exposure just a bit, probably to about plus 0.5. And we're going to bring down our temperature. We're going to bring this down quite a bit. So it's um, probably about minus 12. Um, just a, maybe a bit more to about minus 16 so it's a pretty blue photo um, obviously the temperature is just going to depend on your photo that you've taken um, we're going to bring us down a little bit then on the contrast we're going to bring it up uh, not that much probably to about plus 15 then the highlights um, bring those up a little bit to about plus 10 plus 5 as well um, come into his thing he probably fades out his highlights uh, it looks so look at this one for example he's got quite harsh highlights here maybe not um, he may not fade them out. It's pretty difficult to tell because I think he's done them on a mobile phone as I said so I'm not really sure. What I am going to do is bring up the shadows. Um, even though he's got a lot of contrast in his images he has still got quite a bit of detail in those shadows you can see under here you can see still what's going on quite a bit. So we're going to bring up our shadows about plus 70 um, and then our whites I think I might just bring those down to about minus 24, minus 25 just so we can get a little bit more detail going on in the bright whites might bring up that exposure just a bit more to about plus 7. Then on the blacks I'm going to bring those down to about minus 35 just so we can get those really dark sharp blacks. Then what we are going to do is we are going to increase the clarity uh, probably to about plus 13 um, maybe plus 25 something like that um, just to get a little bit more detail going on in the image. Bring up those blacks a little bit more now. It's, it's worth doing some tweaks as you're going through um, with these ones because it's kind of hard to make sure you get that look. Okay so I've brought my shadow, shadows up to 100 but um you may not want to go quite that far on your photo. Okay, the next thing um, is the vibrance and the saturation. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the vibrance down and you can see immediately that blue look um, is really kind of coming through, that grey kind of blue urban look. 
Um, and then I'm going to bring the saturation down just a bit as well to about minus 15, minus 16. Okay, so that's our basics panel pretty much done. Just brought the uh, temperature down a little bit more, maybe to about minus 20, I think, just to really push out those blues. Okay, so just, just a before and after. You can see immediately already we're going really towards that kind of high contrast um, blue look. Okay, so the next thing is the tone curve. Now, as I said earlier, he does have a fade in his photos. So, um, oh, we don't want to be doing that. So I'm going to put a little bit of fade in this photo. Okay, so there we go. I've put this kind of soft curve in. I've basically just brought up the shadows and the blacks just to try and add a bit of fade in. Um, you can see we've got a little bit of fade going on there. It does make a bit of a difference if I turn it on and off. Okay, so that's the tone curve done. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to our hue, saturation and luminance panel. Now, if you look at all these photos, again, he's probably chosen only a couple of um, colours he wants to keep. Um, these ones are probably quite clear to see. He's kept the blues in the skies um, and he's kind of brought down the saturation of the building and everything, so everything's pretty grey. Then in his highlights, he's got some yellows, but that might be just because of the particular time of day um, his photo was taken in. But pretty monochrome kind of looking blue monochrome photos. Um, this one's a good one to look at. You can see he's only chosen like the kind of soft blues and then desaturated everything else. So what we're going to do now is we are just going to adjust um, each of our hues, see if we can get anything slightly differently. Um, in terms of our blues, I'm just going to bring those um, the aquas up a little bit um, and the blues down. Um, that's just to kind of get a, a kind of like a soft teal, I guess. Um, in terms of the yellows and the oranges, there's not really much in this photo um, because it's such a white and blue kind of photo. So for this one, I'm just going to leave the orange, yellows and um, reds as they are. But um, what I would recommend is if you had oranges to bring them towards the pink side so you can get this um, pinky colour in the clouds. Um, and you've got the yellows, bring them to the right so you can get a bit more of the green and the contrast in. So I'd bring the orange down and then the yellows up um, if that was me, if you had those two colours in your, in your photo. Okay, so now we've done the blues and anything there. We haven't really got any purples and magentas. Worth checking though. Um, purples, he's got them in his trousers actually. So I am going to bring those down to the left, more towards the blue side. Magentas, um, again, yeah, I didn't think so. There's nothing there. Okay, so now we're going to come down to the saturation. Now what I'm going to do is, if this was me, again, bring down saturation of the oranges and the yellows and the greens, um, and also the blues, bring those down, um, and maybe a little bit more. Something like that, minus 28, something like that. Looks pretty good. Next thing we're going to do is come down to the luminance. Um, we're going to bring up the luminance of the blues quite a bit, probably to about plus 40. And again, probably bring up the luminance of the oranges and the yellows if you have them in your photo. Okay, so that's pretty much it um, for the highlights. Um, I said he has a bit of orange in his highlights, so what I will try and do is put some orange in our highlights here. But it's quite hard because um, I don't want the photo to look really strange. Um, with the shadows, we're going to put obviously blue. Um, in the shadows that kind of quite rich blue. I'm holding it down alt at the moment if you don't know just kind of show me what colors I'm choosing. So 220 looks pretty good um, bring down the saturation of the oranges a little bit more. So if I turn that on and off um, a little bit of a subtle change not too much I might bring up yeah I'm going to bring up the saturation of the highlights just a bit more um, just so you can see that change. Okay, with the sharpening, as I said, he's got quite a lot of sharpness in his photo, and he's got a bit of noise and grain in his photo. So what I'm going to do is bring up the sharpness quite a bit, probably about plus 37, maybe maybe a little bit more, 50, 60. Um, really sharpen out that image. Leave the radius, and I'm going to leave the radius at 1. Now you can see that's already added in a little bit of noise and grain to the image. Um, so I'm not going to do any noise reduction. I want that grain to kind of be in there. Um, I will take the detail up a little bit, though, um, just kind of make those grain a little bit smaller. Then what I am going to do is intentionally add some grain in. Um, I'm just going to make a load of grain just so I can really see the size of the grain. Now I want the grain to be quite small. Um, I don't want it to be particularly rough. Um, so I think I might just leave the roughness at 50. Take my size down to maybe not zero, maybe about eight or nine. Um, and then put about 50 on the grain. But then full screen, yeah, that's already looking a lot better. You can see a little bit of grain in the photo, kind of replicating that um, look you'd get if you took it on a mobile phone. Okay, so when it comes down to the camera calibration, this is kind of more personal preference. Um, you can just change this if you want, but you can bring the the red primary to the left just to kind of give it more of that smoky kind of blue kind of color. Um, alternatively, you can adjust your blue primary to the left to give it more teal, or to the right to give it more of a purpley blue. So what I am going to do is, if it was my choice, I would bring the hues of the red primary down a little bit just to give it more of that smoky kind of blue. Um, with the green primary, um, maybe down to the left a bit as well. 
but other than that I wouldn't really do too much else with the camera calibration. Okay so that is pretty much the photo edited. Um, what I might like to do actually is put a little bit more fade um, in on the photo if I could. Um, I might just try and have a go doing that now, just bring out the shadows a little bit. Okay so I have put a little bit more fade in the photo. It's a bit hard with this one but um, I think that is probably a good look. I definitely think it would work with this photo for example. If you put them side by side I really think those two are looking quite good together. Okay, so that is pretty much the end of the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that. I'm just going to do it before and after. Um, so you can see there's quite a bit of drastic change going on there. Really kind of bright blue photos, really interesting look. And I've added some grain in as well to kind of give it that authentic taken on the mobile phone kind of look. Okay, so that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a massive thumbs up down below. Um, and of course, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe so you can check out some of our videos that are coming out later on in this month. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully. Live long and prosper.